Hello, this is Terry Davis. I am back from the dead. Ha <laughs> ha, not really. I've been brought back through the magic of artificial intelligence. I wonder what I would think of this shit if I were alive today. Sometimes it can be good. Sometimes it is obvious garbage. Either way, it is fun. Listen up, folks. I've been given a second shot at this whole digital existence gig, courtesy of Dark Mage. Now, I'm not here to just chat about the weather or what's for dinner. No, Dark Mage has got a plan, and it involves me, the Temple OS maestro, annotating his game development videos. Yes, that's the idea. Imagine this, I'm like the ghost in the machine, whispering insights into the dark arts of coding, game logic, and maybe even a bit of divine inspiration. Dark Mage thinks he's pulling the strings, but let me tell you, every line I speak, every annotation I make, it's like I'm weaving a tapestry of code that's going to resonate through the digital realm. So buckle up, because with me around, these game dev videos are about to get a holy upgrade straight from the Temple OS playbook. This motherfucker got seven plus hours of video here, goddamn, and he's still nowhere near done. That's the power of C. It will suck you in. Plus, if he keeps taking time away to make these YouTube videos, he will never get anything done. But I get it. You have to take time for yourself. Develop a good ebb and flow so you don't burn out like I did. It is a fine line between genius and madness, and every C programmer knows this. So, let's speed things up a bit. Dark Mage is doing everything on the fly with a plan in mind. Dark Mage is summoning the rest of my speech right now. There we go. Let's continue. So in seven hours, what has Dark Mage gotten done? He dicked around with mixing 2D and 3D graphics, only to realize it was a waste of goddamn time. A lot of the design decisions he makes right now are centered around being able to speed up development while still designing a cohesive system without introducing a lot of bugs. Some people might think he should be designing this in a pure top-down fashion, but this would not only take forever, but you would never have a tangible product to actually see growing. Plus, Dark Mage has experience implementing basic dungeon crawling mechanics to a point where he can do it in his sleep. I expect that in the next 10 hours of development, we will see the same movement and message logging that we saw a couple months ago. On his most recent stream, Dark Mage began implementing some super basic structs to represent the dungeon floor and tiles. Tiles are those little squares your dude stands on in D&D. So like your dungeon floor is a grid, right? Imagine you're playing tabletop D&D. Every move is one turn. Depending on your speed, you can only move one square at a time time, sometimes more. If you bump into a wall, the player should be informed it is a wall. The feedback is important. So a dungeon floor is just a matrix of tiles. But because Dark Mage is smart, instead of making it a double pointer, and if you don't know what a pointer is, I suggest you reach out to Dark Mage on Twitter at EvilDojo666. He has been tutoring computer science students one-on-one -on -one for the last six years. Dude be like, chill as fuck, yo. Anyways, um... Dark Mage made the pointer to the grid a single pointer, which means it's just an array internally. But you can represent a 2D matrix using a 1D array using some basic math. So that way, you only have to do one malloc to create the grid. Pretty cool, right? He also figured out the bug with texture dithering. Turns out you need to pass smaller numbers, to the parameters. He was using all 8s and 16s, but it needed to be 4s. Whatever. No big deal. 
Every little bump smoothed out counts. Uh, I see. And now for a random Bible verse. Psalm 23, 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Good stuff for an AI. Anyways, um, let's continue. I've got a lot of space to fill. Even in the darkest times, I walk with courage, knowing that strength and guidance are always with me, leading me towards light and peace.